I'm Deborah Henson Conant. I am answering questions for Selena Hare, who is doing a HARP research project for Stanford University. And her last final question is, what makes a HARP a HARP? I just think that is such a fascinating question because there's sort of the cliched answer, which is, well, it's a large gold thing, or it's um, you know something that angels could play, or it sounds something like that. For me, what makes a harp a harp is because I play both the lever harp and the pedal harp, and I really love them both for very different reasons. What makes a harp a harp is access to the naked strings so that I can do, um, you know, unusual things with them, that I can play around with them, that I can, um, uh, the harp's turned down right now, which is one of the great things about having an electric harp is that you can play loud and people can't even hear you. You can play like you're playing loud. So being able to have physical connection to the instrument so that I could play it gently so that I can so that I can bend notes like that all of that is important to me because that allows me to inflect the sound and really have a lot of sound quality that's one thing that makes a harp to me another thing that makes a harp to me is that it has some kind of mechanical way that you is, is that is that the, all the strings of the for me now I know that there's chromatic harps but for me, I love to have a diatonic harp, and I love that there is a mechanical way that I will, sorry, that I will change the pitch of the strings. Because that's one of the things that I just think is so phenomenal about the harp, is that the harp, unlike any other instrument, is built in a certain key. So right now my harp is in the key of E flat. And that means when I play an E flat or C minor, the entire instrument is completely resonating. And I think that's part of the characteristic of the instrument, that the whole instrument is resonating in that key or that mode. And when I shift to a different key, okay, so I shift into a different key. Yes, I truly can play the harp. It was in B flat. So when I shift the key into a different, different key, the whole harp is resonating in that new key or that mode. To me, that is part of what makes a harp a harp. The naked strings, that you play it with, I mean, I, I guess you could play it with a plectrum. I like playing with my fingers, you know, or if I didn't have fingers, with my toes, you know, with, with, the, with you know, a naked part of my body. I love to do that. And, um, and, the, and that it is a, is a percussion instrument in the sense that it is resonant until you stop it. And it, it, so you play it, it's ringing, that ring dies, and you stop it. So I think that's what makes a harp to me. And I'm looking forward to hearing other people's answers about what makes a harp a harp. Thank you, Selena.